Well, local organizations are chipping in as well to help some of the victims of Irma. We are working with our relief partners at Feeding South Florida to bring those much-needed supplies to friends in the Keys. Several trucks at Feeding South Florida filled with supplies headed to the Florida Keys and residents there who lost everything. It's just really important for everyone to know that help is on the way. You know, the Navy and the Army are airlifting supplies. They're bringing supplies in by sea. Um, and folks are working hard to make sure that people have what they need. Channel 7 is joining the recovery effort. Thank you so much. WSVN has donated $100,000 to kickstart the Irma Relief Fund. We want to give $100,000 to start this campaign. And we urge other businesses and people to donate because all this money is going right to the Irma Fund. Another business coming to the rescue, lending a much-needed generator to Feeding South Florida so while the power is out, their food can stay fresh. John Ruiz, the founder of MSP Recovery, answered the call after seeing the story on 7 News. I think it's a very important cause. I think we, even though we're all going through our own personal uh, you know, problems that we don't have power and we need water, uh, still, it's always important that to know and understand that there are people that always need more than you do. Testament not only to Channel 7 for putting out the plea for us, but also uh, John, who's, who's been so generous with his, not only with his time, uh, his resources, but also with a generator uh, to come here and donate this to make sure that our cooler is up and running to make, and to get uh, fresh produce and other, and other uh, uh, meat items out to our families. Others also inspired to help victims of the storm. 7 News viewers Cynthia Lopez Badia and her family made a special delivery to Channel 7. We saw the news report yesterday of, you know, people that were in the keys, how much they needed this, you know, and we're just trying to do our part. Her family, still without power themselves, decided to give up some of their own supplies to help others. We know people need it. We see how bad they really need it, and I know that they need it more than we do right now. And she wasn't alone. I got Tissues. Her two children led a hand. One by one, the family piled much-needed supplies into a car headed to feeding South Florida. Toilet paper, a lot of water, soap, t um, toothbrushes. I want people to stay alive. I'm so happy. She hopes sharing this act of kindness with her children will replace their fear with hope. Woo. A valuable lesson in helping others in need. Well, Joe Rhodes is with the team from Feeding South Florida, and he's going to be there as those donations are handed out. Watch for his live reports tomorrow right here on 7 News.